I'm a Deadpool, Deadpool X um, special character that comes out every now and then. Um, I'm here to do a bit of a channel update and uh, just kind of get my thoughts here. So about two weeks ago, oh, okay, first I'll start with the bad news. About two weeks ago, while, I was, while we were getting footage for Halo Reach, uh, Deadponix360 decided it wanted to die. So it kept giving us the red ring of death, so we just said, screw it. So that means no more finishing the MGS3 campaign. Uh, no more, no, none of the games that I have. Basically, I can't play my 360 anymore. And that includes all the GTA 5 gameplay that I was planning to record. Specifically for the future. But I got recently got the game. Well, Deadponic actually got the game for uh, GTA 5 for Christmas. So that's kind of it kind of balances itself out. However, we were able to get footage from a Call of Duty campaign. Uh, it's not Modern Warfare 1 or 2, thank goodness. It's uh it's the first Black Ops, which is considered to be the best story driven Call of Duty since uh, World at War, which is pretty good. And also, oh, sorry, <laughs> itchy, itchy boob here, sorry. Okay, so, and then, there's also a bunch of other things we're planning to do in the future. However, because of the whole thing with COVID and all that, now, I'm immune to it, and Deadponic got his shots, obviously, and he got his booster, but I can still get it, even though I can't technically die from it. I can still pass it on, so you won't be seeing me for a while. I may pop in here and there, but I'm not going to be here for a while. And there's also one other thing that's been kind of tying me up. Um, I had a bit of a problem with uh, the Time Lords of Gallifrey, you know, the guys from Doctor Who. Well, <laughs> while I was writing a script for a rant I was planning to do, they kind of, you know came in and they said, oh, you can't change the fabric of time. You can't change events in time. Certain things are time-locked, as they explain in various episodes of Doctor Who. I tried to explain to them that what I was proposing does not change the fixed event. It more changes smaller events, which ultimately do affect the outcome of the bigger event in subtler ways. And, unfortunately, much like the second Doctor, I am, well, I'm going to be forced to regenerate at some point. I, I'm willing to bet that. Which is unfortunate, because I really enjoy my time here. Anyway, so, future projects. Future projects. We've got, we are planning to finish the, well, Deadponic is planning to finish the Spider-Man uh, PS4 version. Now, the only thing is, is that he needs to set up his green screen for something. Or he's just going to do it right here in front here and just do it that way. Um, and then he's going to finish Jedi Fallen Order. On top of that, he has also has to, he's been getting a gameplay for um, Final Fantasy X, which is good. Because we wanted, we would want him to get to through that. So he uploaded a bunch of videos like about a year or so back. Haven't gotten around to it because all these new games have come out. Uh, we're also planning to do Shadow of the Colossus, which is really depressing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mask. Anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, we've also got, we actually managed to record some Dead by Daylight gameplay, thank goodness. Which is great. I like Dead by Daylight. It's a great game. It does have its issues. But thankfully, it's in a position right now, compared to last year with the Twins, and what happened there, that basically, it's in a good spot right now, and there's not a lot of issues, besides a couple bugs here and there, and there's a little bit of monetization issues, but that's not really a big issue for me, because I don't really go for that. And then, well, we were planning to, well, Deadponic was planning to explain why he doesn't play uh, Siege anymore. And he's going to do a couple story time videos for that. However, uh, most of the, the actual footage was captured by me. So, and I have to send that to him. There's a bunch of other videos we've got planned. 
Uh, speaking of which, uh, the Versus video that I advertised not too long ago, like a couple months back or so, that is taking forever to actually edit because we've had issues with, we have personal issues here at home. Well, this isn't technically home, but whatever. Our laboratory, quote unquote. Uh, we've had the COVID stuff. We've had basically, we've just been getting delayed more and more. So at some point, the video will come out. It will be fully edited, it will be rendered, and it will be, it'll come out. Don't worry. Now, there's one other thing that's been depressing lately. And I just found out this morning, so this is kind of a bit of a shock to most people. Uh, it turns out, well, uh, we lost Betty White. And at the end of the year, like the beginning of the new year, it's like the, literally the day before that, that we lose her. Now, they're saying it's natural causes, which I don't have a problem with. I mean, she was 90, yeah, she was 99 years old. So, it makes sense that she would pass away from old age. And at least she died peacefully. That's the important thing. At least it wasn't complications from surgery or anything or anything related to COVID. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. That, that, that really. And uh, Dead Ponic made a memorial video about that, which is just. I literally, I li was literally crying for a couple of hours because I watched Hot, I love Hot and Clean when it's a great, it's a great show actually. I did, I've never watched Golden Girls, but I, I heard it's pretty good. So there's that. And just things have been kind of hectic around here. So I just want to quickly just say thank you guys for sticking around for as long as you have. Um, One other big surprise though is that uh, Deponic is actually starting to get into Warhammer 40,000. That's one of the things he's getting into, but that may be further down the line. As for the uh, Draconis podcasts, unfortunately, Kaiba is uh, unable to do the podcast anymore, co host, so we have to find another co host. But once we get that up and running again, the, uh, the podcast will resume as usual, hopefully. Anyway, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Uh, Thank you guys for sticking around with us. Unfortunately, I won't be here. But you guys have been awesome. Thank you for sticking around. And hopefully, 2022 will be much better than 2021. I just hope that. Whew. Anyway, happy new year. And take care of yourselves, guys. Wear your mask. Get your shots. Practice social distancing, that, all that stuff. And just be safe. Eventually, we will get over this. It's just a matter of time. And if people will stop being so stupid, then maybe, just maybe, we can beat this thing. Alright, that's it for now. Happy New Year, guys. I will see you whenever... This whole thing clears up, and if I manage to survive my regeneration. See you later.